What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a glass sliding patio door that no longer slides properly. When I try and open up this one here, you can hear all those horrible grinding, bumping noises. When I try and close it, it's really tight to close. So today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to fix. Let's get straight into it. Let's do this. So we need to first remove the glass sliding door, but in order to do that, we need to remove our two roller blinds here because the way we remove this door is we lift it up out of the track, swing it out, and then we need enough clearance up on top to be able to pull that door out. So these two roller blinds here are in the way. So I'm gonna quickly remove these two now. So to remove the roller blinds, first we wanna roll them up as high as we can. And then we're gonna remove these little clips here. So with these two roller blinds here, there's actually a little joint right here in the middle. The way you remove these roller blinds is there's a little wheel on the end here and that wheel will retract the little pin that's holding everything into place. So if I retract that wheel right now, I can now pull it out. So you can see that wheel there, pull it back and it'll retract out of its location. So that way we can free it up, pull off the one side here and now we've got that roller blind off. So we'll repeat the process on the right hand side so lift the door up, slide that bottom section until you've got enough clearance and now we can lay this door here on its side. Alright guys, so now we've got the door on its side and we've got access to the wheels. Now to be honest, I haven't actually seen this style of wheel or carrier here before. Um, usually you'll find there's a large carrier on uh, both sides of the door. You gain access from a screw on the back and you simply remove it. But this just goes to show that once you know the concept of how to replace it or how to repair it, um, it's pretty straightforward. Even if you get a unique design like this one here, you're still able to get out there and give it a go and repair it yourself. Um, so now with this wheel here, if we have a look, we can see exactly what's going on. It's completely warped, bent out of shape. As I roll it, the bearings, I can feel them and you've got a big hole right there. So this one has definitely been uh, damaged for a while. Now, if you're lucky, you might be able to remove just the wheel on its own without having to remove the carrier as well, and you'll be able to replace just the wheel on its own. Easy way to know if you're able to do this is to take a flathead screwdriver and you want to simply slot it right above that wheel. So still inside the carrier, above the wheel, and then you want to just simply try and pry that open. And if we give it a bit of a twist, we might be able to free up this wheel and replace just the wheel on its own. So you can see there, we've now got the wheel removed. And if you have a really close look, not sure if you guys can see, but you can actually see all those bearings inside. So this one here definitely needs to be replaced. We're gonna also remove the one on the bottom um, and replace both of them at the same time. This one here came out with half the carrier so we're going to separate these two, take just the wheel on its own, reinstall this one here back in, and we'll go out and replace our wheel. So now that we've got our replacement wheel, we can reinstall this one here back in as well. Wait for that nice little click. Take our second one and install the second one. So now that we've got the new wheels installed, we can return our door, doing everything back in reverse. Make sure to push this all the way up. Now we've got a perfectly functioning door. So we'll return our rollers. And once everything's been reinstalled, this is the finished product. So we've got a nice, quiet, smooth, perfectly operating door. That's exactly what we're after. And as you guys have seen in the video, we had a different set of wheels here that I wasn't anticipating or a different set of carriers. Um, but the process is very much alike. Regardless of the setup that you have, the process is gonna be very, very similar to what we've done here today. Um, but at the end of the day, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. You can now get out there and give it a go yourself. Save yourself a little bit of money. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.